day trading is very lucrative in the crypto market because you have uh, typically two or three days a week when you have two, 10 or 20 percent move. <laughs> And Bitcoin's recently been welcomed to the markets from Japan. It's been legalized right. and also Russia right. talking about legalizing it. So right. we've spoken about Bitcoin and we've also spoken about Ethereum. Now, there's actually 830 cryptocurrencies if you include all of them. Are there any that are also coming up now which are able to compete with Bitcoin and Ethereum? And for people that are already investing in cryptocurrencies, they can turn their attention to these new ones that really have the exponential growth rate. They've not seen the peak yet. It's a very good question. Mm, to answer it, we should uh, kind of uh, build a bridge to normal economy. If we, uh, if we observe the classical financial markets, uh, we, will see, we will see in, uh, let's say, in American stock exchange that we have uh, so-called blue stocks. There are, I don't know, 30, 50 of them. Depends if it's a German or American ones. And it's a kind of established big names. Still, there are very valuable companies, which are like 500, also very valuable ones. And what we had till now in the cryptocurrency, there was only one very established and kind of uh, acknowledged by everyone Bitcoin. Now we have another one, Ethereum, and still not very visible, but we have at least to estimation from experts on our platform, 20, 30 projects which are very valuable, have very strong value propositions. And they're not known to a uh, wide public, but uh, they will be, they will be uh, in media, they will be a newspaper in the next one or two years. Uh, to give maybe some hint, um, few projects which are working on um, like distributed data storage. You can, if you know, if you know Dropbox, so imagine like uh, you and me, we have computers, it's always uh, like part of blockchain and we can share our space as a kind of Dropbox to anyone else. So there are at least three teams working on this. I'm sure a few of them uh, will uh, be quite known soon in, in the future. Then there are projects working on uh, connecting different blockchain between each other because like, like you say, 840 and uh, quite some portion of it is that different blockchains, different uh, infrastructures. So there are projects which are trying to connect them, uh, make them walk, to, uh, walk and talk to each other. I'm pretty sure a few of them will, be, will, uh, will come to the, um, uh, how we say in German, Bundesliga in the highest, uh, uh, highest level. There are also some working on privacy, which allows well, us exchange uh, data, uh, be it money or messages in a, uh, cryptographic and proven uh, private mode and uh, there will be uh, uh, some of them famous. And so, uh, so the, the topic continues. It's like segments and sectors in a new, newly emerging economy, crypto economy, which is still under um, creation, experimentation, but we have our blue chips players and uh, they will be visible in the next one or two years. Will be, uh, well, I don't think 820 will survive, but 50, yeah, 50, 50 will survive. And you can still, Early enough, you can try to profit out of them. Fantastic. And just finally, so we've seen Ethereum and Bitcoin. Now they seem to have reached the quick peak of the level they're going to go. So would you advise for people that have joined the markets now to be more short term traders when they're looking at cryptocurrencies? We have looked at the fact that they're such volatile cryptocurrencies. Maybe day trading is something which has more benefit for investors at present. Very professional question. Um, Day trading is very lucrative in the crypto market because you have uh, typically two or three days a week when you have two, 10 or 20 percent move. So actually you don't need any leverage uh, with such a volatility, but you need to learn the rules. Uh, how this volatility, uh, what is causing volatility when it starts and when it ends. It's a very highly emotional market you will see once you enter that people are spreading uh, the news, which are kind of fake news sometimes, uh, just to scare everyone away and buy cheaper, or they're like hyping to sell higher. So you need to learn this dynamic before you start doing day trading. Otherwise, very easy to get trapped on top or sell on the bottom. <laughs> and uh, to start with day trading uh, is a good idea only if you risk small amount, very likely, uh, you will lose, uh, or you will, you will experience 50% decline in your asset, and it's a kind of uh, first rule of entering the crypto market. 
you should be ready for it, but to feel, uh, to know how it feels, uh, better experience a small amount of money. Then you will learn very fast the rules and start increasing your capital, uh, start increasing your risk capital only thereafter. Otherwise, uh, long-term trading is uh, much, yeah, I would say it's uh, more, more secure because in generally we can say over the next three years uh, the crypto market, or well, let's say yeah, two years, the crypto market uh, should grow and this government will try to regulate it strongly. And uh, there you will have uh, more time to uh, stay over this volatility. And for the short term, for short uh, term trading, mm, small capital, try to understand the rules and then increase your risk capital. Great. Well, I'm sure if any of our viewers have any more questions, they can reach out to you and your organization. Mm. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming in today and sharing your insights with us. Thank you, Jessica. Well, that's all from us here in the Geneva studios, but we want to hear how you found this interview. So don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.